Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, well, we got another special video for you guys today. And it's actually kind of a two-for-one video. So, one, we are going to be seeing what it's like to play Halo on an ultra-wide monitor. Uh, but we're also going to be seeing what this ultra-wide monitor is going to be like. So we're going to be doing a little tech review of it at the same time. So this monitor I have here is an Innocent 44-inch uh, ultra-wide monitor. Uh, it's described as an art monitor, but it actually has very good specs for gaming. So that's what we'll be uh, taking a look at. And big thanks to the folks at uh, uh, Innocent for sending this to me. It's a uh, uh, actually a pretty cool monitor so far. But so this monitor is huge. Uh, it is a 44-inch monitor with a resolution of 3840 by 1080p and an aspect ratio of 32 by 9 which is very rare for an ultra-wide monitor, actually, because most ultra-wide monitors are 21 by 9 aspect ratio. So this makes it even wider, hence why I said it's a super ultra-wide monitor. And you can see, like, the box is almost as big as a person, actually. Uh, but aside from that, this monitor does support HDR, uh, supports, has two HDMI ports, one USB-C port, and one display port. And even though it says it's an art monitor on the box, uh, it should be pretty good for gaming. It has 120Hz refresh rate, which is pretty decent for gaming. And setup wasn't too hard either. Alright, so we now have the monitor set up and powered up. And you can see this is <laughs> Windows 11 with, uh, with a super ultra-wide display. And it is running at a 3840 by 1080 resolution. So... It's basically two 1080p displays combined together uh, into like a very, very wide display. So, yeah. Oh, and it's also running at 120 hertz refresh rate. So that's that's pretty good for gaming, actually. Uh, I, I know like people game with like much higher refresh rates than that, but it's still a big bump up from 60 hertz monitors. So I think uh, we should be able to see a lot of improvement with that. So let's get right into. MCC and see how well this runs um, everyone's favorite game here <laughs> so right at the back you can see that the MCC intro videos do not actually support ultra wide displays um, so we have black bars on the side however the actual MCC menu itself does actually support uh, 32 by 9 ultra wide displays which is actually kind of surprising to me because um, 32 by 9 is a very like rare aspect ratio for ultra wide monitors, uh, from what I can tell. If you search on if you search ultra wide on Amazon, almost every result you get is 21 by 9. So it's actually pretty impressive that MCC handles um, 32 by 9 pretty well. The monitor is actually it's pretty nice. This is my first ultra wide monitor, and I'm going like straight to super ultra wide, but uh, you know, visual quality is nice. The build quality is pretty nice too. It, it is almost borderless as well, no bezels. Um, but the there are speakers built into the monitor, but they're not that loud. So you're you're probably better off just uh, using your own headphones or separate speakers. But you know, it, it might be okay. You know, if you sit close enough in a quiet area. But as you can see, Halo Reach cutscenes do not support ultra-wide uh, resolutions. However, um, if we skip the cutscene, go to gameplay, it does display just fine in gameplay. Although there are a few uh, weird things with the HUD and stuff, but for the most part, you know, it's fine. All right, for this next game, we have Halo 1, or rather Halo CE Anniversary. And let's see how this game handles ultra-wide, or super ultra-wide, as I like to call it now. So you can see the cutscene, it actually does support ultra-wide, but not quite 32 by 9. I believe this is a 21 by 9 cutscene. So unfortunately, you won't be able to get the full 32 by 9 experience with the Halo 1 anniversary cutscenes, but uh, at least gameplay should be fine. So... It's going to gameplay in a second. <clears throat> there you go. Full 32 by 9. And it's the same in classic graphics too. Just fine. Alright, so next up, as you can see, we have Halo 2 Anniversary. 
And we'll be doing both anniversary and classic graphics, of course. But, uh, you know, same thing, the loading screen of MCC doesn't actually support ultra wide, but that's okay. Uh, so, classic graphics, not ultra wide. Uh, anniversary cutscene, the video, also not ultra wide, but that's not as surprising. So, we skip that. Gameplay, though, is fine. That is actually ultra wide, and that looks very nice. In ultra wide that, that is like very beautiful actually in anniversary graphics I mean classic graphics it's pretty nice as well but anniversary graphics is where this really shines in 32 by 9 ultra wide so compared to 21 by 9 ultra wide I I think 32 by 9 looks absolutely amazing as well it's a uh, it's not a common you know aspect ratio that people experience but I, I think it's a very interesting aspect ratio quite different than what we're used to and might actually be better in some regards Unfortunately, it seems like MCC doesn't fully support it in every game that we've seen so far, as far as cutscenes go. Alright, well, next up, we're going to do Halo 3. So, Halo 3 is, uh, well, it's actually one of my favorite games, so I'm very excited to see how Halo 3 turns out. So, Halo 3 cutscenes first. Okay, so it's kind of like Halo 1. Halo 3 cutscenes do support that 21 by 9 aspect ratio. But it's still letterboxed. And if we go in game, so in game, uh, it, we're still in sort of like a semi like scripted uh, sequence. So it is letterboxed at the moment at the top and bottom. So it, it does work in game, but during these kind of like moments, we will have these. Uh, it is shrinking it a lot by doing that. But. Once those black horses appear, then we have a very nice looking 32 by 9 aspect ratio. Alright, next up we got Halo 3 ODST. Now, because Halo 3 ODST is the same engine as Halo 3, you would assume it would be the same as Halo 3. You know, same ultra wide cutscenes, 21 by 9, and then fine in gameplay. But, ODST is actually different for some reason, and I think this is kind of a bug with MCC. Um, so, with ODST cutscenes, in 32 by 9 it actually does run the entire cutscene in 32 by 9 but it's like widescreen letterbox so it's like a tiny sliver of the cutscene and most of it is cut off uh, in ODST so you only get to see like a tiny bit maybe if we if we mod the game to remove the letterbox it would look a little bit better and it might actually look very nice um, but without modding by default what you see is what you get here so yeah it's uh, it's slightly broken in ODST, but I do see the foundation for uh, really nice looking ultra wide cutscenes, like full 32 by 9 cutscenes. Now of course gameplay is fine. Gameplay is the exact same as Halo 3, so not too surprising there. Alright, so for our last game, I think we got Halo 4. And we'll be doing the Mission Composer. So let's see how the cutscenes look first of all. So, amazingly, Halo 4 seems to be the best of the Master Chief Collection, as far as 32 by 9 super ultra-wide resolution goes. In that, you get no letterboxes, you get full 32 by 9 and I don't believe anything is cut off either. I'd have to compare it to the original cutscene, but from what I can tell, I don't, I don't think it's cutting anything off. Uh, so, I think Halo 4 does fully support 32 by 9 ultra-wide resolutions. Uh, but we'll keep watching for a little bit longer, but, you know, like, ODST kind of started that support, but it was still letterboxed. Uh, but Halo 4, no letterboxing. So, it seems like the games get almost better with ultra-wide support as you go in order. Like, with Halo Reach being the worst as far as cutscenes go, uh, well, about the same as Halo 2 Anniversary. But Halo 1, Halo 3, a little better than Halo Reach and Halo 2 Anniversary. And then... ODST, big improvements, better support, but still a few issues. And then Halo 4 seems to be, uh, well, have, seems I've perfected it. So that's, um, that's really cool, actually. And then, of course, gameplay. So gameplay, I mean, we're still in like a semi-cinematic right now, but, all right, there we go. So gameplay is uh, pretty much pretty much the same as every other game. So yeah, that about wraps up for this video. Uh, hopefully you guys 
found it to be interesting and I'll probably do more experiments and videos with uh, Halo and Ultra Wide. So do stay tuned for that in the near future. But aside from that, uh, hopefully you guys, like I said, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it to be interesting. If you did, then as always, make sure to leave a like. Um, leave your thoughts in the comments. Anything else you need to test out or experiment with in like super ultra wide aspect ratio, just let me know in the comments down below and I'll definitely try to test it out. Because I know like 32 by 9, it's a pretty rare aspect ratio. So it's a good opportunity to try out to push MCC's like ultra wide support to past its limits. Uh, but yeah, so just let me know in the comments down below if any ideas you have for that. But aside from that, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.